This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for Tuesday, March 15th. And there's a lot to unpack today. <laughs> is there? I, I watch okay. Charity agonize over her brackets <laughs> throughout the show. Oh, it's today. awful. It is horrible. It you is, really did. You're not exaggerating. It's it a is, wonder to behold. It was really Three years great. ago? Didn't even care about this. And now... And now it's all Now consuming. you understand it for the serious oh issue that it is. So we're going to talk about that as well as... Uh, The Blue Jays are now seen by Major League Baseball, at least some teams, to have an unfair advantage. Imagine that. And the two teams bitching the most. It makes me upset. And so Charity's going to talk about that. (laughs) But right off the top, it's not March Madness. It's Match Madness to help out the Trenton Memorial Hospital Foundation with local restaurants. Let's check in with Executive Director Wendy Warner. Good morning, Wendy speaking. Hi, Wendy. How Hi, are Wendy. You? I'm great. How are you? Good. Good. Wendy Warner, Executive Director of the Trenton Memorial Hospital Foundation. What is this I'm hearing about Match Madness? Match Madness is a fantastic promotion we've got going on in support of our hospital and raising medical equipment that is desperately needed, uh, over $2 million worth, mind you. But we have six wonderful restaurants that are giving us a dollar from a selected meal all month long to match one of our anonymous donors who's put up $10,000 for them to do that. Wow, wow that's incredible, Wendy. So it's is, cool. Was it's that really how cool. this all started then? It was. It was. They felt that that was a, a, you know, a great way. They wanted it to be matched because they wanted people in the community to be able to participate participate and, and support the hospital we, and support the local businesses because, you know, everybody's got to eat. Everybody goes out to eat from time to time. And what a better way to do it, you know, pick a, pick a menu item from one of your local restaurants and know that you're also supporting your hospital. So we've got Tommaso's Subway, Riverbreak Cafe, Little Caesars Pizza, Goji Korean Grill, and Golden Valley. Wonderful. Nice. So That's a little great. something for everybody. Exactly. And every price point for everybody. So somebody can support us without having to break their own bank, but they're supporting their local business and their hospital. What's better than that? Well, as you said, a win-win for everybody. Mm-hmm. And it's Absolutely. going on all match lo- uh, March long. <laughs> I know. I get a little tongue-tied, too. I want to say March Madness, but it's yeah. Match Madness in March. In March. That's right. That's right. It's March Matching Madness. Well, <laughs> Wonderful. We'll, we'll get to that $2 million goal. We'll do it. Yep. We'll get there. And one dollar Another way to help out. That's right. And, of course, as always, they can contact uh, the foundation directly, too, and make you a bet. donation. You bet. TMHfoundation.com. Excellent. Wendy, congratulations on that and have yourself a great match month. You too. Thanks so much. Great idea. So thanks to the it's restaurants. A fantastic idea. The anonymous donor who said 10 grand, let's use it to raise yeah. 10,000 others. And let's give you 20 go. grand. Let's help out the local restaurants yep. who have been so affected by this yep. pandemic. They've had to close. They've had to adapt. They've had to pivot. So yep. it's a win-win for everybody. That's it so helps good. out a local hospital and all of us here living in the area. So it's great. Do that as well. If you'd like to just make a donation, mm-hmm. they'll help oh, out as course. well. Go to Trend Memorial Ho- uh, Hospital Foundation, Google that, and then uh, or call Wendy. She'll take your <laughs> credit card. It's, you know, we're small enough for a close community. You That's know, right. You'll see Wendy at walk. You want to make just, a donation? She'll make it happen. She'll, yeah, she will. And then they're going to go buy $2 million <laughs> worth of equipment. So Wendy, thanks for that. And to everybody yes. who's, who's helping with that. On Match Madness... March Madness is something else. We're going to get into the brackets coming up shortly. But word came out this morning now that Major League Baseball is going to play the CBA. The collective bargaining agreement was written in in there. And it's not even in the fine print, but it's one of those things you go yadda, yadda, yadda to. Is the fact that should there be another slowdown due to the pandemic, Mm -hmm. the border becomes a concern. So if you were to be an unvaccinated player of an American team... And were to test positive or not be allowed to cross the border, mm-hmm. you would be docked pay for those. If it's a three game set in Toronto, for example, you would be docked pay for those three games. Those games you miss. And you can't bitch and complain about it because you're, it's you're, your choice, you're, not you're, to. And your yep. union agreed to this, right? You can't mm-hmm. say, oh, poor me. Hey, your union signed off and said, we agree to these terms. 
So there it is. Well, now all of a sudden, two particular teams have noticed that, well, let's say I have a left fielder who's been tearing the cover off the ball the last week. Five home runs in a week, on fire, playing great, now has to go to Toronto but is unvaccinated. So you feel he deserves a pass because he's on a he's on a roll? Not you yourself, but the organization. So because he's playing really well right now, he should be able to cross the border. Even though he's not vaccinated, he should be able to. And he that's, tests positive. That's what they're saying? That's what they're saying. It's not that fair, That is ridiculous. Dan. That it's, is the most ridiculous thing yeah. I've ever heard. But their, their point, and I don't agree with it, is but if we were then traveling to Kansas City and not crossing a border, of course he'd be able to play. So what they're saying is the Toronto Blue Jays, because of the rules of crossing the border into mm-hmm. Canada, have an unfair advantage that teams may not be able, may not be able to field their best possible team because of these rules. And the two teams bitching the most, the Yankees and the Red of Sox. Of course they are. Oh my, I mean, if it was Baltimore, I could see it because they don't have anybody. But the Yankees and the Red Sox always have great teams, always spend more money than anybody. And are the first to bitch and complain when things don't go their way. Well, there's a few things here. Number one, the border has been the way it's been for the last year. Nobody, everybody knows this. It's not new. These aren't new. They wrote it into the CBA. They knew it. Exactly. But Canada and U.S. have had these procedures in place now for well over a year. You had to be vaccinated in order to travel across the border. So that's not new. You knew this. Yeah. And it's not to say that individual stadiums might not have their own procedures, too. It might leave you at, yes, you might not be able to cross the border into Canada, but what's to say you don't travel to Kansas City and you have to wear a mask? Are they going to stop you from going in without a mask? Maybe they themselves are still checking for vaccinations. Maybe, and I'm just using this as an example. It's not to say other places don't have their own. Yeah, why just Toronto? Yeah. I get you cross the border. It's a bigger, I get it's a bigger issue, yeah. mm-hmm. but it's not n- a new issue. They had the choice this whole time, and we've seen it in other sports. We saw it in the NFL. We saw it in basketball. Players not being able to travel to Canada if they're not vaccinated. So, guys, yeah. and <laughs> like, the, hello. The beauty and of this. Yes, as the, you've said, the union agreed to it. So guess what? You do it. But the beauty of this about putting a chip on our shoulders, they all seem to forget that for two years, yes. Toronto was a team without a home. Exactly. They had to play in Buffalo. They had to play in Florida. Never complained. And how much bitching did they do? Charlie Montoya, the manager, was asked about the concerns yeah. that New York and Boston uh, raised on behalf of all other teams. Oh, it's not just us. Like, like we're just pointing it out mm-hmm. to everybody else. Yeah, okay. Uh, and and he, he said not in so many words, which means to say he never said this at all. I'm going to put words in his mouth. You know, where were they for two years when we were without Displaced. a stadium? Yep. But he did say, hey. So they li- could play yeah. a season. We they had lived, to move. Yeah, we lived in a suitcase. We had to uproot our families. Mm-hmm. We had to do all of these things. And not only did we not complain, we hunkered down, won 91 games or 93 games and, and almost made, made the, the playoffs. playoffs. And nobody said, yeah. hey, poor Toronto. If New York and Boston are really that concerned, then have your players get vaccinated. And that's, then it's, that's and one then of it's them. a moot point. Yeah. And it, it really bothered me because my favorite player... Is now a New York Yankee. Yeah, and deal with Josh Donaldson. Yeah, I deal and with it, it really uh-huh. even even before I heard this part of it, as soon as I heard he was going to New York, I'm like, oh, really? Uh, yeah, of all the teams, <laughs> where they all end up. If they're good, they all make a stint really? through Boston Why? or New York. I would have taken Boston over New York. Yeah. New York to me, I just want to punch. <laughs> I just don't. Just, and this adds to it. It's almost an arrogance. No, I don't yeah. like Rules it. Rules don't apply to them. Exactly. Even if they've existed for a while, even if Toronto exactly. had to, to do this for yeah. two years, and then they finally get to come home, and New York finds a way to go, no, oh, that's not fair. Oh, yeah. it makes me crazy. Yeah. I makes just want to take my ball and go home. That's like, right. No, you I don't want to play with you guys. Jay's home opener is April the 8th against Texas, and it looks like they're going to get the 162 games in, right? Oh, they're going right to cram them in? I don't know. I think know. that's going to happen. You're asking they, the wrong person and here. And they've eliminated the seven-inning doubleheaders. They're going back to nine all the time because oh, they did that before. They tried that last year. And in the extra innings, they've abandoned the start at second base rule. 
where the leadoff guy started at second base to begin the uh, oh, the I extra innings. Even, you didn't know. even know that? Yeah, they did that. that. So they've gone back Tells to the old Tells you how way. closely I've been following along the last couple of years. It's been weird, it's though, right? It's just been a blur. With everything else going on. It really on, has. Why? If you don't care, why try? That's the way but I am. But now that the Jays are back in mm-hmm. Toronto... And they're going to start in April. When you said that this morning, the when their home their home opener was going to be, I was pretty excited. I thought, yeah, okay, coming. I got to get tickets now because we do. It'll we try be, to get to at least a couple of games. It'll uh, one of the three weeks from Friday, yeah. right? So they've got quick spring training. They got some games coming up. They got, I got some spring and the training. Kids games have there. never been, so I'm really excited. never been to Rogers Center. They've never been to a, a Jays game. Yeah. So we talked about this year. It's if, if it opens up and they're back, then we're going to go. They've done NHL games, right? So they've the seen boys? professional no. sports. They've never been to a National no, Hockey League they've game. they've been to an AHL game. Yep, which is but great. But never an NHL game. And well, we've, we've talked about doing a couple of For some reason, I thought when you way. were in Boston, you went and saw the Bruins play. No. no and way. that was just us. The kids weren't with us when we were in Boston. Ah, okay. So no, Wayne and I have been to NHL games, sure. yes. But, but the kids have never to been. To get them into an atmosphere of professional sports. And I'm, I'm excited for that. Everything shut down after our trip to Boston. So, oh, boy. Because when we came home, yeah. that's what we said. We have to get the kids whether it be to Ottawa, I don't know if we'll make it to Toronto, um, but even in the states, if we can we'll cross start the border, and see. Page yeah, exactly, where you can buy leaf tickets. exactly. But yes, that's that's on the to do list. Now so that things are so if you're a Blue Jay fan and you still don't like the Yankees, you're going to hate them even more now. now <laughs> I might actually have to go when the Yankees are in town now because uh, of Donaldson. Yeah. Uh, and then I March Madness begins on Thursday. Play-in games are tonight. Charity. The funniest part to me was trying to decide what to do with Sister Jean and Loyola <laughs> Chicago. Sister Jean is 102 years old 102. now. 102. The wow. nun who sits on the bench, or at least yes. when we first saw her for Loyola Chicago, and they went on their magical run mm-hmm. of three or four years ago, and she is the patron saint of all things basketball. She's 102. She's They're wonderful. in the south bracket. So wonderful. She'd have to travel or whether she's just there in spirit, but it's Sister Jean, so This sure. was the whole conversation this morning. Playing because, Ohio yeah, State, between... now what? And that's where I was stuck. That's where I got way, held up. I, I was really torn. And in her uh, organization, it's the Sisters of Charity. Charity. So now, Charity, what are you going to do? You're going to bet against Sister Jean? See, and the, thank you, because I thought I had my mind and made the up. the 10th seed, Loyola, Chicago, the Ramblers? Kind of, Ramblers? Yes, the Ramblers. It's yeah. kind of, if, if, because my, <laughs> then I thought, well, if she's there, if Sister Jean makes it to the game, then I got to go with Loyola. Right. But if she's not there, I, Ohio State might actually beat them. And it's just, it's killing me. I want to rip my hair out. I'm it not really sure is killing worse. me here. I'm not sure what's worse. Wanting to bet against her or if she isn't there blaming her for their loss. No, I'm not blaming Ohio. her. I just think I have a better like. chance. It's I don't feel, she, well, maybe I am blaming her. I, she, they don't, I feel that Ohio, as I said, Ohio State yep. may have a better chance of beating them without her there. Without her there. Without her there. All right, then. Not that it comes down to her, okay. but I, she is moral support, right? And that's just one of... 63 games. <sighs> 63 games, not including the I still don't have my. I still don't How have my along? Elite Eight. I, I'm, I got Sweet my 16? I think, but now you have me rethinking Ohio State and Loyola. So I don't know. I don't know, Mark. It's I, different this year because <laughs> there wasn't a lot of coverage <laughs> and games got canceled because of the pandemic still. Yeah. Um, so I haven't paid nearly as much attention, which probably is going to help me because I come last in this thing every year. I've never won it. I don't think I've even been close. By the time the Final Four is around, I'm, I'm not even in the conversation. Well, it did make me chuckle and feel good when you – what did I ask you? I asked you about another team or another pairing – or maybe I had it. Pull- I've been doing a bit of research, and you said right. that. I'm like, oh, you're even, you're looking these up. Oh, now I really got. Oh no, no, you're and doing the fact that research. You, I know the fact that you even acknowledged that. I was like, yes. Well, okay, I'm the, maybe I have a chance. I'm the commissioner <laughs> of of the bracket game that we're playing here. Yes. And I got home from work yesterday, which, as you know, is not late in the day. I think I got home <laughs> well, at we noon. Start. And I thought I'm Quite gonna early. I'm gonna do mine. And yeah. your husband had already submitted his mm-hmm. from work. I know. Your husband. He doesn't mess around. No. He just tick, 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 and done. and done. Out. <sighs> I don't know how he does Wayne, it. Wayne, you should and he watch does your pretty wife well. sweat. He does pretty he well when he's in. Last year, yeah. When he, his hockey pool's the same way. Like, he just. Decisive. He just knows his Malcolm stuff. Gladwell, it's called Blink. You should trust your gut. 
There's a and reason And that's what why. I'm trying to do. But honestly, my gut is in knots looking at this stuff. I, and it's funny because you would think that there's a lot on the line. There's literally nothing. There's a bag of jujubes. Big bag of that, jujubes. That is what mm-hmm. someone will get at the end. Other than that, it's... I don't know. I, I think bragging rights is pretty big. And I would love to have those bragging rights. I know. I really would. <laughs> but because it's, I just mean monetarily, it's not like I'm out anything. That's right. I'm not exactly. losing anything, but really. But you'd be insufferable. <laughs> If be, I won? Yeah, or, it would no. just be awful. Maybe for a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to, especially with you. you I'd, ha- I'd have to. But just I to would. be clear, when you were but. filling this out, you don't have a winner in mind yet. I don't. I have no idea. You have no idea where it's you're going. It's almost like I know the teams that will probably be okay. in the top four, and I don't right. want them. Like it's, I'm fighting myself. Like Gonzaga. I don't want to go with Gonzaga. So you don't have them winning, let alone making the I have the them winning four. one game like, right now. As far along as you are, right. Okay. But should they be in the top four? Probably. Yeah. They're a top-seeded team. They should, they, Two years they, in a row. They should do well. Baylor's the number one seed after I know. winning last year, I know. so they're still really good. But I good. don't want to go with them. That's <laughs> the thing. It's like, Too maybe, obvious? Yes. Oh, okay. It's the upsets. It's, I, I know I'm overthinking it. Look, look at me. Like, I'm just... Yeah. I'm going crazy here. If, if overthinking it were a cottage industry, I would be a CEO. My <laughs> wife calls me the perennial overthinker. I overthink everything. I am. I'm. And I should just mm. be more, you know, gut oriented. Because how many times when we're on the air and I'm like, just, I got an idea, follow me. <laughs> yeah. And it just seems to work out okay. And it, yeah. But it then does. I get into this stuff and it's like, no, I need to go somewhere quiet and read for eight hours to decide whether I like you know, Providence or whoever Providence is playing. I, don't I think know. I went with Providence. Or I, no, I didn't. You didn't. Good for no, you. Because playing, uh, game above is them. Is it South Dakota State? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's Team Providence. above them there. Iowa. Boy, yeah. I like Iowa. I, I, I took, like I me the Hawkeyes. I, I took Iowa. I like the Hawkeyes out of the Big Ten. It's just, it's. So if you're doing this, we're yeah. of no help to you. No. But we're, but we're agonizing so along with you. It it's great. It's so much fun. And, and to you, think and, that three years ago. You didn't know. I know. I had no idea. No idea. It's fate. Uh, Twelve fifteen. <laughs> it begins on Thursday. You're taking Thursday and Friday off. I am. I'll be. Te- I will be texting you those yep, days. I will be as well because I have everybody's breakdown as the commissioner, so I'm going to be able to watch everybody's agony in real time. As and when we an fall upset away. special starts showing up with a number three is in trouble with a number fourteen. <laughs> oh, and that's so good. So good. <laughs> that's what you don't want to miss. <sighs> So good. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast here wherever you get your podcasts from Spotify to Amazon Music to Google Podcasts uh, and link to our social media sites. Join us uh, tomorrow morning. It is a Wednesday. Jimmy Hollywood will have the latest entertainment news. We'll have the phrase that pays for our friends at McDowell, uh, your independent grocer, as well as Bay Subaru. $95. Remember, I listen to 95.5 Hits FM. Could win you some cash. You should register on our website. Like Jan Mason did this morning. Our first winner. She was good. And we'd love to get you some cash. Wake up tomorrow morning with Mark and Charity Mornings here on 95.5 Hits FM. Have a great day.